It was just a few years ago that I was dreaming of being in this position. You all have no idea how honored I am that God keeps his promises and that he allowed me to get into this industry. I started here in 2018, starting school, and that was unsuccessful because I didn't finish. I Welcome to my channel, everybody. I talk about faith, family, and business. So uh, today I'm a little bit nervous because um, I have a very unique property that I am listing and um, it is, I'll just say unique. So with me just starting, I don't really know how to um, do certain things. I depend on my broker for so much. Like I know she's probably like, girl, <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I depend on my broker for so much information, um, but I'm grateful that she's available um, a lot of the times. So I know her only off day is on Friday. Um, my unofficial off day, official, unofficial, which I never hardly take um, off day is on Wednesdays. Sometimes I'll take it on Saturdays because that's the day that I get a chance to travel with the babies. Ooh, this look like a bush. Okay, but um, anyway, so yeah. But um, yeah, so what are, one of the main things that I want to talk to you all about is don't waste a lot of time getting to where you know you need to be. A lot of times uh, you may get a little nervous and you're like, oh my goodness, I don't have the skills. Um, the ability to get things done. But yes, you do. If you, you can do all things through Christ, which gives you strength. And you know, I talk about faith, family, and business, and I lead off with faith because that's all that I have is faith. But faith is not just all that I have. I mean, I don't want to say it like I'm diminishing faith. Faith is huge. Faith is, is what will be able to carry you in the darkest times. Um, that has helped me to get through school, even in the pandemic. Like you got to understand, I started school in 2018. I passed all of my like grace period. I, I just bulldozed past all of those things and just did not make it happen even in 2019. And so uh, the pandemic, it just kind of shut me down to just kind of give me the opportunity to sit down and reassess where I needed to be. And that's exactly that's exactly where I ended up. I ended up doing what I needed to do to get back on track. So um, here we are um, in 2021. Um, well, 2020 on my birthday, May 6th, I decided to purchase a course. It was fully online because I'm a mom of three kids. And so I don't see myself going to sit down in anybody's classroom. And it was so much easier for me to um, go online and study whenever and however I saw fit and as long as I needed to. And um, that worked out best for me. Some people, they might, that may not work for you. You may need um, an instructor to talk to you and um, just kind of guide you through. But I will say, I purchased some other courses. Um, I purchased the um, prep agent, I, I would advise anybody to purchase prep agent. That guy, he is amazing, okay? I'm not even gonna lie to you, he is amazing, amazing. So um, go, if you are interested in real estate, go get prep agent and then I'll put like my link down in the description bar so you can get, um, I think it's like a, a discount, a major discount uh, for using my link. So um, <clears throat> so if you do online, go ahead and do online, finish the course, but then do the prep course um, like right after you finish it, right before you take your state national test. And I promise you, if you really, really, really put the time in, you're going to pass. Like just claim it in faith. Right. Like I was e I was e learning. My kids were in e-learning full time. So that's three kids. One kid was in the 10th, one kid was in the fourth, and one kid was in the second grade. And I was on full time e-learning. I was still trying to do my little side hustle with Liv and um, do the call center on some days and study for the real estate exam. So I tell anybody, if you want to do it, you will make it happen. Like, don't make any excuses. Just make it happen. So, um, 
anyways i'm excited uh so right after i finished that course obviously i paid for the uh prep exam for that school but it was just kind of like not that easy to grasp and when i found prep agent it just brought everything together for me so i would advise that i would seriously encourage it just go do it and um, realize your dreams but anyway so i'm gonna go ahead and finish here um and then i just had to drop off one of the lock boxes i am going to go look over um my listing well my um my soon to be listing it's supposed to be listed today and this is my broker's day off so i think i may push it back until tomorrow so I what I might do because I still haven't gotten the keys from the owners yet they didn't have like a spare key make sure when you're doing a listing tell the people what they should have like just let it be available make sure that they have their uh, mortgage payoff if they have a mortgage deal um, and and make sure that they have an extra key and you anticipate being able to list the property so don't go there unprepared I need you to go with the sign Go with the sign, go with a lock box. Either you're gonna use the super E key or the coated box, the combo box, or you're gonna use both because I see some people using both. And um, anticipate that you're gonna have that listing, like just point blank period. So the house is rather unique, but the beautiful thing about it is it's unique. I'm not really sure how I can go, how far I can go into talking about it until I fully listed it. Um, I don't wanna infringe on anybody's privacy. So I'll just say the property is rather unique, rather unique. Um, and they pinned the foundation and then they added on extra structures to the land. Like it's more structures to the land. So it just makes everything more valuable and what I like to almost call their compound. It's really, really, really unique. But um, so it seems like I get the very different type of listings, but I'm happy about that. And then so after I finish up with them, I'm going to go to the house because I need to do some research as far as one of my other clients that is, he's like just viewing property right now. We're coming to a close pretty soon um, for him just viewing property. Um, I'm really motivated to find him what he really, really needs, him and his wife, and to move forward. And I'm also my main client that I told you all that it was just hard to find him somewhere. He already has a contract on the house. We're just in our due diligence um, phase right now where um, he had just gotten the inspection done. There are a few things that need to be um, done before we can close on that property um like two safety hazards so anyways um make sure that i would advise anybody if you're if your client is purchasing a property get them to get their inspection i mean would you want to inspect something before you purchase it because and then also have a warranty like as you don't know what you're getting um if it's not disclosed like in the seller's disclosure some properties don't come with a seller's disclosure, but you still need an inspection so you can find out maybe latent defects. There's some things that you may not be able to see with the naked eye. But long story short, don't want to ramble any longer. I want to thank everybody for watching my video. My name is Latoya. Please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I'm super excited to have you all here with me. And I'm about to pop this gum. Roll that outro now. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Bye.